Good morning, everyone. It's so nice to be here and see you all this morning and get to share some of our recent results. This is a talk aimed at a broad audience, so I'm trying to give you kind of a hint of the problem, well, hopefully more than a hint of the problem, but a hint of the solution and examples of what we're able to achieve so far. And I'm gonna focus, as Jeff just introduced, on elements of first-person perception, and especially those that are multimodal in nature. So that'll mean we'll get into vision plus audio, vision plus language, and, and I'll give you examples that kind of connect towards that vision of embodied AI. So let me set the stage starting right there, talking about where we've been in computer vision and where we really need to go and where so much work is needed to, to, to move. So here's where we've been. And where we've been is in a field is achieving some great successes in terms of visual recognition of objects and activities and images and videos like you see here. I'm showing you kind of the, the hall of fame of important data sets that have really driven the research in the field in order to allow those great accomplishments. ImageNet, Kinetics, Ava, and others. Now, what you'll notice though is that these instances of images and video have a certain form. They're typically downloaded from the web and they make their way into these computer vision or AI data sets. And this means they represent something special. In fact, they're curated by human photographers originally. And so they represent this curated disembodied moment in time from a third person or a spectator's perspective. Right? These are the moments that were important enough to take a photo, take a video, and now they get into the hands of our AI agents.